Wow. So I just finished watching the uh, the Zendikar Rising preview stream, and wow, it seems like Rudy was right about the last few spoilers when it comes to Fetchland specifically. So there, he said they were going to be box stoppers, and they look like they are going to be box stoppers. And they said that you're going to be getting them in the collector booster packs, like foil versions of them, uh, along with expeditions. So yeah, you're obviously not going to be getting the regular fetch lands. They are going to be alternate bordered, so this isn't really the meaningful reprint people are wanting. But nonetheless, you're getting non-foil, so they are a different border. I don't know how much more expensive they're actually going to be. Uh, as opposed to the regular fetch lands, but we're gonna have, you know, only time and the market are gonna have to adjust and see over time what happens. But wow, these uh, cards look incredible. Very similar style border to the other expeditions. If I find a few, I'll throw them up on screen as well. A very different style, but there's a similarity there as well. Uh, you're looking at wooded foothills, polluted delta, you got scalding tarns, so you're getting all 10 fetch lands, ally and enemy, that you can be getting within Zendikar Rising. So, whew, wow, this is very, uh, the news, it's kind of like a relief because I knew that we were going to be getting fetch lands, obviously, in Zendikar Rising. I, everyone kept saying this is going to be something else down the road, and maybe there will be another version of fetch lands down the road as well, uh, this year even, potentially. But to be honest, um, if you're looking for those meaningful reprints, this is probably the best it's going to get for you, unfortunately. I know it's going to drive a lot of people away from Magic. Uh, they're going to feel like they're priced out of the game, especially if you want to play certain formats like Modern. You're just not going to be able to play them without fetch lands unless you're playing like Tron, which was uh, mostly reprinted in Double Masters and uh, Corset 2021 because you're getting uh, you're getting obviously Ugin and Karn that was in Double Masters. But you're not... Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a shame because sometimes... When you drive too many players away, the game uh, will suffer and it will shrink, and then potentially people will just sell out of their cards if there's no one to play with, and if just collectors collecting, then you gotta have to have a nice balance of game and collection. But what do you guys think? Have you seen this stream as well? Are you as excited for Fetchlands as excited for Fetchlands as I am? Because I can barely even speak right now. I'm, I'm so excited to see this. Uh, the the cards to me look beautiful. Uh, you're getting a box topper of, of not just fetch lands, you're getting prismatic, prismatic Vista, you can get other cards that are just rare versions, just like the same way you did with Battle for Zendikar and Oath of the Gatewatch. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'd, be, I'd love to see your comments, and I'd love to see your opinions on this as well. And what do you think? And Are you hoping for another reprint soon? Uh, or is this what you truly believe to be it? Kind of the way I, I see it right now, at least at the moment. Anyways, I'll see you in the next video.